Hello everyone, all the freshmen out there. My name is Gavin Stewart. I'm a PAP staffer as well as a vice president of student government. So you need to send a lot of me. Uh, I'm from West Palm Beach, Florida. So I'm gonna give you guys a little, a couple tips on how to pack, mainly from you know the people out of state and stuff of that nature. Especially if you're flying on you know airplanes or you know maybe even you know the truckers as well. So uh, I fly Southwest. You get two bags for free on Southwest, which is very convenient for a college student like myself. So I have these two bags right here. And I have, as you guys can see, I have a lot of shoes as well as a lot of summer clothes. These only really get worn from like September to what, November? Beginning of November. So I'm gonna teach you guys, I'm gonna show you guys uh, the way that I pack because uh, not only do you get two bags for free, but they each have to be 50 pounds. They cannot go over. They might let you slide with like 51, but the minute you hit like 55 or something like that, they'll have you like shift some stuff around and move your bags around. So with that being said, I'm gonna show you guys how to, or how I do it, in order to get my all this into these two bags. The first thing I would suggest that every, anyone do when they start packing, see how many shoes they have, pick a suitcase that you would want to put it in. So, this is usually my, my shoe suitcase. So what I would do is come down here, start with the bulkiest shoes first, and I'll come down here and put them in there like that. As if they was fresh out the, out the <laughs> shoe box. And you just start packing them alongside of each other. Have that one. Usually you can't really fit much in there after that. So you start getting like your dress shoes or your smaller shoes and stuff like that. That are not as bulky. In this case it will be my dress shoes and my toms. Had them for a while. Stick them right behind there like that. You can't really put anything else in the pocket like this. So what I'll do is get socks. Stick a bunch of socks in that little pocket. Fill that right up. Now, to close the rest of this off, you just start with your jeans. Just lay them gently on top. Make sure they're organized. Organization is key to a great packing. That's all the jeans I have. That's all the jeans you need here in Florida, honestly. And then you just continue with the khakis, the cargos, all that great stuff. And then you might say, oh, I still got some room. Go ahead and fill this up with your jeans, your khakis, as well as your shoes on the bottom. I usually fold my shirts. I'll show you guys a little brief one. So, obviously, you have a, I wear a lot of t-shirts. So, you have a lot of t-shirts. Fold it right there. Bring it to your chest. Bottom up. Here, boom. They're flat, they create a lot of space, both for packing and storing it in your dorm as well. So I like to go in twos, take them, boom. Two of them here. Boom. Two here. Got two more here. At this point, you still think, oh, I can fit more. So what you do? Probably can fit all of them in here, honestly. Stay packing them all there. There's two more shirts. Lastly, two more. As long as you can zip it closed, I say keep going. At this point, I don't really think I can fit anything else on there. So I'll try to go light. Get a couple of your collar shirts. Like to fold them this way, lay them gently on top. Boom. That's all that can go inside of this one. Still got a little more packing outside. Alright. Fine. I got it. That's done. What you're gonna do? Don't forget you have to put like your lotions in there, your shampoos, body wash, all that good gravy, toothpicks, all that. So never forget about that kind of stuff. I typically, what I'll do, I'll carry a little bit of it with me, but mostly I'll just leave all of this, like all this room and all this uh, weight, like clear, so I can put a lot more clothes in there, and I'll just buy it all, like, you know what I mean? Like, you just run to Walmart when you get back at school and get all that kind of stuff. Super cheap, everybody loves Walmart, so just go ahead and do that. I will suggest that.
Next suitcase becomes a lot easier. Number one, you have something to sit on now. Take this, go ahead and open it up. This is like a duffel bag or a rolling duffel bag suitcase. It's been with me through, through traveling abroad, through long trips back to Florida, <laughs> through a lot. So you, again, take your bulkier shoes, I'm gonna put them at the bottom. I know for those uh, people that take care of their shoes, uh, make sure your white shoes are typically either I or either at the bottom or they're gonna be on top of something. So put the whites with the whites. Keep that. Wanna make a joke? You can't. It's like racist. This should honestly take you, I know like for people that worry about time, it should honestly take you maybe 20, 30 minutes to pack. But make sure you give, you enough, give yourself enough time. I didn't show you guys, but in order to scaffold to get all this stuff, that's what took <laughs> the longest, honestly, to actually find all the clothes you want to take with you and all that good stuff. That's typically not the easiest if you add, I mean for me at least. Some of you guys might be a little more organized than I am. Now when it comes to t-shirts that are folded, that are really like, you know, like, you just some, like shoes. laying around, chilling t-shirts. Okay. Usually you have to fold them up like this. Okay. Or if you You're really... running shoes. Oh, good looks. Ooh, right here. Almost forgot a pair. And I like these. Let me put you. Okay. Right there on top. My blanket on top that I want to bring back. If you really uh, like press for space, you want to fold these in half, kind of like a hot dog style. You know what I mean? You can open it up if you have space. Like I have room now, but if I didn't, I'll fold it up and roll it like this, so I can fit them individually like that. So in this case, I'm gonna just sit it on top, like so. And just keep going. I told you about I was about the two. As long as you have two on there. Everything should run smoothly. Stack it right on top of your shoes. If you have any white t-shirts, I would highly suggest you put a black t-shirt on the bottom of that one. Just so they don't get like messed up if you have like any like extra, you know, stuff on the bottom of your shoes or anything like that. Put that one right there. Now here's the t-shirts. Everybody love like, well I'm sorry, tank tops. Everybody loves the tank tops. Sun's out, guns out. So Make sure you have some, especially for the fellas. Ladies, do what you can. Um, so in this case, they're, they're typically already small, so you really don't have to worry about that. But again, if you needed more space in your suitcase, fold them. These can easily go in your duffel bag. The light on your back, if you got a duffel bag on your back, it's fine. But in my case, I can fit it in the suitcase, so that's what I'll do. Spread it out, make sure everything is even. You never want to have to rearrange some things just because the weight is off because you have too much on one side. Or you can't close your suitcase because again, there's too much of something on one side. Now as you guys can see, come across one. I have all this stuff, or all this room right here. So instead of trying to fill it with like some shirts or something, get all your gym shorts, put it right now in there. All of your gym shorts. Boom. Now we are at equal level. Don't forget those white t-shirts I was telling you guys about. I don't have a lot of those. So that's great. You have a lot of these little tank tops though. For wife beaters. And no, don't be the wife. No, so the next component would obviously be the white pants and my dress pants. Those two always get laid on top of the shirts for me, only because I don't want to really mess those up either with like wrinkles or like if I have white, like white Levi's, you never want to really get those messed up either. So I'll take these, these are my dress shirts. Have a few here, a few back at school. So with these dress shirts, I don't know, I mean you honestly, when you're packing them, you can do it however you want, whichever one make, like, makes it easier for you. What I typically do, just went ahead and fold them in half first, bring the arms down to the side, and then fold it once again. 
Just like just like I did the polos. You just keep doing that until all of them are in there. You can alternate as well. I don't know why, but I do it. Just looks better. Almost there. Don't forget your underwear. This is just a few of mine. <laughs> so make sure you get all your underwear in there. Nobody wants to ever have, or you can never have enough underwear. Always, I uh, always end up having like my suits, my ties, my bow ties, all that great stuff. I'm going to put that to the bottom because that's where they're typically, typically going to fall anyway. Put it to the bottom of your suitcase. So if you have any extra room, you don't have to worry about it. Now, I have a lot of socks. So, don't judge me. But just know that. You can just literally fill the top of these with your socks and ties, bow ties. Uh, all that good stuff. Make sure everything fit. As well as, I don't really have a lot of, uh, like, you know, like lotions and things of that nature to go in here. So I really worry about that. So then I'll take, take a towel or two and put in there. But besides that, that's honestly, that's your freshman packing right there. Everything fits, your shoes, your clothes, your ties, your bow ties, your underwear, your socks. Those are like the meaty things. For anything else that you think might be over, I would highly suggest, or highly suggest, that you ship it there. Number one, it's easier to ship. It just takes a little bit longer, but at the same time, if these bags are over 50 pounds, then you're subject to $75. Uh, at least I, I know for Southwest, it's $75 for an overcharge fee for bags. If they're over 50 pounds so I mean if you got it you got it but if you don't I would highly suggest you do this uh, I'll see you guys in the fall have enjoy the rest of your summer